Just a few steps from the bustling Marina Bay complex, where the Neponset River meets Boston Harbor, is a slice of nature with a fascinating backstory. Bob Damon is the director of historic and heritage resources for the city of Quincy, and a font of historical knowledge. And he gave me a tour of Squantum Point Park, a chunk of coastal land that has seen a lot of changes over the past 400 years. Well, I mean, we have to start with the indigenous people uh, for whom this is their ancestral homeland. I'm going to acknowledge that we are on the ancestral homeland of the Massachusetts people, um, and thousands of years actually worth of indigenous civilizations who lived out here. And then this place became, uh, what, an airfield at some point? Well, that, that's right. This is also a place of an important um, touchstone in the history of human flight. So we have to go back to the Wright brothers really quickly for a second. Okay. So we know, you know, if anybody's read the story or know the stories of the Wright brothers, you know that they did a lot of their early work in secret, right? So they did it down in North Carolina, they did it in Ohio, and not many people really knew what they were doing mm -hmm. um, until a very famous flight in Europe where they proved to the world that they could uh, have sustained powered flight. Mm -hmm. And that was in 1908. By 1910, the Boston Globe and um, other large companies here in Boston were holding the first of what would be three annual aerodromes, and they did so right in this area. The Quincy Aerodrome contests ran for about three years until 1912, when a horrific accident involving pioneering pilot Harriet Quimby led to their demise. Ms. Quimby was here, uh, and here for the contests that related to the aerodrome. And one of the other ways that the aviators made money was by taking wealthy folks on flights. And so she was charging a thousand bucks per flight mm -hmm. with her. Um, and she and um, a wealthy uh, gentleman were up in the air. They were about a thousand feet up above, all kinds of people watching. They were flying around this area. Unexpectedly, and for some reason that nobody knows, the plane pitched and threw both Harriet Quimby and her wealthy passenger out of the plane in front of thousands and thousands of people. Oh. She died right here, right out here in, in, in the Neponset River watershed, and her plane crashed down into the mud. Here, I think that was sort of kind of signaled the end of, of the aerodromes here. From 1917 to 1953, Squantum Point again saw use as an airfield, this time as a U.S. Naval air training and seaplane base. Following this period, the property sat largely abandoned until the mid-90s. For a long time, this area sat pretty quiet. This park is really an extension of a broader effort to really clean up and reclaim uh, Boston Harbor. Um, so you know, the Harbor Islands are a part of that effort, um, but so too also is um, a new water treatment plant. One of the things that was a real challenge was when that was being constructed, how do workers get there? Uh, it's not an easy place to get to. Um, and so um, the leadership of the DCR offered up this area of Squantum Point as a stepping off point for um, the workers. Um, and in exchange, what they got was the park. Gotcha. Um, and so it's a really, I think, a wonderful example of this combination of need and an alignment of a larger environmental movement um, with some reclamation of some really important uh, conservation land here. Yeah, and now it serves as a, just a great place for people to come, take a nice walk or a bike ride, um, and see some nature too. Absolutely. Like there's all kinds of critters running around in here. Uh, there's coyotes, right? There uh, are. Uh, there's tons of rabbits, I know that. And uh, all sorts of bird life too, it's great. That's right, that's right. And you know, if you, again, if you're in the Boston area, this is a 20 minute drive. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you know, yeah. A little bit shorter than trying to go to the Cape. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. For more exclusive video content, including short films, episodes, and features, be sure to click the subscribe button and look for us on social media at Explore New England Films.